Hi everyone, I am Nikhil. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about my Microsoft front-end interview experience. I interviewed for Microsoft last year in 2020 and I keep sharing my front-end interview experiences on my blog. If you haven't checked out my blog, please check the link in the description where I have shared my interview experiences of various companies. So I applied through Microsoft's career page and I applied for a front-end role. After a few weeks, I was on my job hunt and I already had a couple of offers. I received a call from Microsoft recruiter for a front-end position. And I'm not sure whether up me applying through a, their careers page did that trick or they got my resume from different job platforms. So my suggestion here would be that reach out to them from various platforms if possible because only the careers page it's not that good uh, to maximize your chances so the recruiters generally post on various platforms like in india you have Instagram or linkedin or few other platforms as well so i make sure that i generally apply through all platforms if I target a particular company and if not even then it's best to keep your resume updated on all platforms so that recruiters can reach out to you from wherever possible that would basically maximize your chances and of course apply to the Microsoft career page once I received the call my interview was scheduled immediately after uh, three to four days and since I was already prepared and I was already interview, interviewing for a lot of companies so it was not a, a big deal for me to interview for some other company and I was to be honest not uh, very much tensed about it because I already had a couple of offers including one of US best company. I did go through some of the posts on Glassdoor about Microsoft front-end interview and uh, to be honest, what I found is that one of the uh, these websites basically cover front-end interviews. They will explain the interview process, but most of them is mostly focused on the back-end interviews. So I was so that's when actually I felt the need that there should be some website or blog where we actually document front-end interviews and there were a couple of individuals who were doing that so that's another story so anyways so i interviewed for microsoft at their office location in IT. and it was basically a four-round interview it depends on your position as well so for me it was four rounds uh, the first round was a machine coding round so the machine coding round is uh, basically a you are asked to actually design a website and web application and they will provide you a api so yeah the question is not going to be same for everyone that interviews for microsoft but uh, it can be on the similar lines and if not at least you should prepare for this because i have seen similar patterns in other companies as well so the first round was actually focused on uh, company on your web development skills so they will provide you an api and what you're supposed to do is that basically use that api and uh, display the data in the ui mostly in the tabular form or whatever uh, layout you you choose and that was on you and you have to implement the searching client side searching client side sorting paginations and yeah all of these features and you have sort of two hours one and a half hour to two hour time to basically complete this and you have to make sure that you optimize your app as well so uh, in terms of searching i can say that you can uh, use a debounce or throttle or any of such functions and same goes on for even other functionalities as well whatever sort of optimization uh, you can basically try to implement 
Another thing uh, that is not focused a lot is the UI, uh, the UI design. So they gave you, they will give you a rough sketch. That's what happened to me. But I tried to design it in a way that it looks good. And navigate, navigating through the entire website is easy. And that's also one of the edges that I saw for myself over other uh, candidates. So UI is a very important thing because once I was being evaluated uh, for this uh, round, the interviewer told me that I had a nice UI and I assume that most of the participants were not focusing on the UI. They are mostly focused on the features, functionality. And another few important things about this round was that you have to code everything in vanilla JS. That is point one. Point two, you are not supposed to use any sort of library for any of the feature. Even low dash was not allowed. Another thing was that uh, your code should be modular. Uh, you have to make sure that it can be easily decoupled, decoupled from the existing application if this is introduced in some bigger app. And you have to make sure that it is easily configurable. Suppose the pagination or uh, the number of elements that can appear in one page. All those things. So you have to make sure that you write the functions in a way that uh, they can be easily modified. Okay. So yeah, so these were the points that was uh, important for you to score high marks. I think I did fairly good in this round and I got a very good interviewer feedback as well. Uh, for once you complete the machine coding round, you basically have a follow up that round and in the follow up, you have to explain the entire process and everything. Then I had a round where it was mostly based on UI tech. From UI tech, what I mean is Basically, you will be tested on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And you can be asked something about Redux or React based on your resume. So for me, it was all of these. I was asked uh, JavaScript design patterns. And if you're not aware of it, it's a very important topic to basically excel in, in your front-end interviews because all the good companies are going to be asking this. Uh, I was asked about uh, pop sub pattern, observer patterns, and even factory pattern as well. And I had to implement and code that. So that was one question, but it was a quite big question. It took some time. And the reviewer was trying to find out flaws or give you some other edge cases or some other, other uh, real-time functionality that if you have this button and everything subscribes to that event then how things will work and all sort of things uh, you will get to know about those if you uh, go ahead and read about pops of pattern observer pattern and all those stuff so yeah so that was the Another question I was asked was on uh, flattening an array. And that was an easy question, I would say, but you have to implement using recursion without recursion. Now, if you are aware of this question, we mostly focus on the recursive method. So non-recursive is something that also uh, needs to be focused for this question. Then I was asked a couple of questions on Redux, context APIs, React, and how does the Redux work internally. So topic wise, I would say there were not many topics that was asked, but whatever topic was asked, they went in depth 
and gave me a lot of use cases and tried to uh, ask me to try to implement those so i would say that whatever you study you have to make sure you go in, in depth and understand how things work behind the scenes in javascript even like setting a straight and react how does it work how does it react detect that and what does it react do internally that is that was my uh, second round it went on for an hour and the third round was focused on designing so i was asked to design a 140 characters messaging system problem with that question was that you have to make sure that you cover every single edge case uh, that can arise and interviewer here was very much interested in knowing how i think and how i am able to basically cover everything without any loopholes what i will tell you to approach this question is that first you have to ask as many questions to the interviewer like if you are asking that that 140 character messaging system at first it will feel like okay you uh, type the message and press enter it will store it somewhere but the challenges here were that you have to make sure that the words don't split at the end so if a user is typing a message that is 500 characters you can send only 140 at one go and so that will basically mean that is splitting it into four messages uh, four, yeah four messages and you have to make sure that, that each message doesn't have a ca word that is split into parts so that is point one secondly if the myth need arises you have to make sure that you basically skip that letter or a word and that word should be plugged in before the next message and similarly till the end of the message that was also one of the edge case another thing was that how will you make sure that a user is able to basically uh, type another message while you are sending these three messages so how can you asynchronously deliver these messages that is also one one of the important point how are you planning to where will you store those messages for the time being while you are sending that uh, how things will work in the background if user goes offline all of those things so it will basically test everything about uh, uh, architecture of a web app so you should have a deep knowledge to cover a lot of things that how will you run tasks in background uh, things are non-blocking in nature and all of those things and covering what if uh, there is a single word of suppose 200 letters without any space then where will you split it so all those cases were there so i was it's not that i was aware of uh, such question or i have read it somewhere i tried whatever i could at that particular time and i tried to cover almost all cases and yeah you have to write the code so i wrote the code as well and that was the third round and fourth round was the hiring manager round where uh, uh, some sort of uh, your personal experience your strengths your weaknesses what were your achievements what all things you did that basically uh, made sure that uh, you uh, delivered the project on time uh, was there any conflict with your teammates if that was there how did you resolve that conflict i mean in case of the project uh, conflict in the ideas so how do you resolve those situations so basically the uh, all the tough situation that you get while working on a project and how will you respond to those uh, those situations so all those questions were asked and he was basically trying to see whether i culturally fit for microsoft and their ideologies so that was there so that was the final round and 
so yeah sometimes you will have two interviewers sometimes you will have one interviewer so sometimes uh, you can have two rounds combined so depending on the experience so yeah this was my experience as a front end engineer in microsoft you can also uh, go ahead and do your own research to learn more about this because a lot of other folks would have shared their experiences but yeah this was it from my side do make sure that you check out my blog for interview experiences of other companies and thanks for watching this video